Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Brick and Mirror Beauty's video blog. Today I'm gonna to be discussing uh, what temperature your hot tool should be at for what kind of hair type. So let me first start by, uh, by saying every person, whether you have fine hair, damaged hair, curly hair, thick hair, coarse hair, should be using some kind of a heat protectant on their hair, okay? So the way I like to explain this to my clients is, uh, is treat hair like fabric. Okay, so this is something everyone can relate to. Think of when you iron a shirt. If you're gonna iron a silk blouse, you're not gonna iron it on the wool setting. If you're gonna iron a, a wool sweater, you're not gonna iron it on the silk setting because it won't really do much. If you iron that silk blouse on the wool setting, you're probably gonna burn the fabric and rip it. Hair is very similar for the most part. All right, so let's talk about hair types. If you have fine, thin, fragile hair, I'm not saying damaged, I'm just saying fragile. Um, you're gonna to wanna to keep the temperature setting on your flat iron, your curling iron, your wand. I would say somewhere around 300 to 350. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Uh, another, another tip you, you might wanna try is taking thinner sections with a lower heat. I know a lot of my clients always say to me, you know, when they use that lower setting, they can't get it as straight or smooth. And I think that's because they're taking too big a sections. So if you have finer hair, take a really low setting, sometimes even the lowest setting on your flat iron, um, or your curling iron, and then take a thinner section. So if you're gonna flat iron it, take maybe a quarter inch section, okay, or an eighth of, or an eighth of an inch section, and then slow, even passes. Be careful about how hard you're actually, let me show you guys right now, how hard you're gonna be gripping the flat iron. So there's a few things to know. Uh, tension, okay, with the iron, how hard you're pressing these two plates together, will cause a lot of breakage as well. If you could just ease up on fragile hair a little bit, okay, and just kind of gently pass the, the, the two hot metal plates through your hair, you're still gonna get a really smooth and sleek look without the damage. Now, if you have medium to normal textured hair, okay, I would say you could probably pump up that flat iron or curling iron somewhere around 375, 400-ish, somewhere right around there. Uh, same thing with the curling iron. And then, you know, same size sections, nothing too big, quarter of an inch. I would push it maybe a half inch because you're kind of kicking up that heat a little bit. If you feel like you're not getting that straight, sleek look with the flat iron, then take a little thinner sections. Um, curling iron, same thing. If you're gonna have a heat, if you're gonna have heat that high, make sure you're conscious of how long you're holding that iron on there. We've all seen the video of the girl who was wandering her hair and burnt it off. Don't let that be you. And then, you know, you have the people with thick, coarse, curly hair. You could pump that flat iron up to 450 as long as you're not highlighted, okay? So if you have super thick, coarse, curly hair and you really want a straight, sleek look, you're gonna have to use a little more tension, you know, hold the plates together a little harder. Again, half inch, quarter inch sections, okay? And you're gonna, with proper tension from roots to ends, one straight pass coming all the way through. If you stop in between, or you start doing like that motion, kind of like we do, you might get creases in your hair, which then you're gonna have to kind of pass through again and get them out. So straight, even, smooth passes with the iron, quarter inch sections with a temperature around 400, give or take 20 degrees for that thick, coarse, curly hair. If you still can't get it smooth, kick it to 450. That's usually the max setting on any one of the irons. Uh, either 425 or 450. Now, damaged hair. Ladies with damaged hair, I would truly advise you not using any hot tools at all on your hair until you're able to get the health back into your hair again. If for whatever reason you need to use a hot tool, 100% use a heat protectant. Use a setting, the lowest setting actually on your on your uh, on your hot tool, 300 would be the absolute max. I'm talking damaged hair, right? If you're just processed and highlighted and your hair's feeling a little dry, you know you have some room in there to kick the 350, but still keep protecting some must and be careful. The amount of time you're leaving the iron on your hair, okay, especially if you're curling or wanded it, a couple seconds, max. Just wrap it, hold it like if you're using a wand, and you're here and you're wrapping your hair up, I would count to like three, two, one, drop, and then cool it with your hand. Do not leave it on any longer than five seconds because you will damage your hair more and, or you'll just break your hair and it might just burn off. So 
Hope that answers a few of your questions with what temperature you should keep your irons at and your hot tools at, and um, gave you just a couple tips on, on you know, how to actually smooth your hair out. I wanted to keep this video pretty short, sweet. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below um, or shoot me an email, nick at brickandmirabeauty.com. You can message me on Instagram. I'm at Nick Marabella um, or at the salons page at Brick and Mirror Beauty. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, see you later.